Hey everyone, it's Steve from Network Advisor. In today's session, we're gonna be comparing two wireless access points. The folks at Zycel Networks have asked me to compare their NWA110AX against the Ubiquiti U6 Lite. Now, both of these wireless access points are 802.11AX capable, which is also known as Wi-Fi 6. That is the fastest Wi-Fi standard at the time that I'm making this video. Now, in the video, I'm gonna be putting them through a few different tests and recording the results on different frequencies and under different circumstances. Now, these tests are fairly objective, and even though I'm being sponsored by Zycel Networks, you can reproduce these tests yourself and come up with the same results. All right, let's get started. So we'll start with a simple bench test. The two units are here side by side just for display purposes. For testing, I will only be energizing them one at a time so they don't interfere with each other. The first set of tests will be using iPerf3. iPerf3 is an application that works in a client-server combination. In my lab, I have set up an iPerf3 server running on a Windows quad-core laptop. Now the client side of this combination is my iPhone 11, which is 802.11ax capable. The MacBook is just there in the background for good looks and for me to record the results of the test on there. Okay, so let's start with the Ubiquiti U6 Lite on the 2.4 GHz radio. The channel width has been manually set to 40 MHz. The iPerf client allows me some configuration over the test. In this scenario, we're downloading five streams of data over 30 seconds. While that's happening, the throughput is being calculated and displayed on the screen. For each of these tests, I'll be repeating it five times to get an average. I'll share those with you in a minute. Since this test does run for 30 seconds each time, I won't bore you with sitting through all of them. However, I do want to show you a brief sampling of each of the different types of tests as I change frequencies and as I change out the physical unit. All right, looks like this one's finished up with an average of 71 megabits per second. Now let's move over to a different frequency. This time I'll select the five gigahertz radio for the Ubiquiti U6 Lite. Come back to the iPerf client, repeat the test, and as you can see, it's moving data or downloading data quite a bit faster than it was on the 2.4. Now I did put the video in fast forward to save our time. It's interesting that even though I had the channel set for 80 megahertz, it kept negotiating 40. So maybe we can talk about that later. All right, now it's time for the Zycel NWA110AX. So I find the SSID for the Zycel 2G network, connect to that, come over to my client program and start it. And I'll put it in double time just to save your time. And as you can see, it's moving a little bit faster than the other one was, maybe even significantly so. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the Zycel 5G SSID and run the test one more time and then we'll go look at the results. All right, so the Zycel 110AX on the 5G just has a very nice throughput, but hang tight. We're gonna move over to the spreadsheet in just a second and you can see all the results laid out in columns. So here's our results, Ubiquity on the left, Zyzel on the right in the blue. And I ran the test five times for each scenario, and I dropped the highest and the lowest scores. So the averages you see there in the bold, for instance, the Ubiquity U6 Lite with a 65.67 megabits per second average, that is an average of the three middle scores. So the three scores there that are still in the black, and then the highest and the lowest are grayed out. So in each test set that you see on the screen, you can see where I've grayed out the highest and the lowest of each of the iterations. All right, so Ubiquity's doing 65 of the 2.4G, Zyzel's doing 120, and then when we move up to the 5G, the speeds get quite a bit faster, but you can still see a striking difference between the Ubiquity U6 Lite and the Zyzel NWA110AX. The next test we're going to move to is something that's probably a little more practical for everyday use. This time, I put the access point up on the ceiling, and we're going to do what I call the 10 meter through drywall test. 
So in my house, I've installed the access point on the ceiling in my home office. Now I move across to the other side of the house into the family room. And if I stand right in front of the brown couch over there, I will be about 10 meters away from the access point. So from there, I'll be conducting the next set of tests. It's going to be the same set of tests again, run five times. But I thought visually it might be more interesting to you if I put the two set of tests running simultaneously in the split screen. Now I did speed up the frames just to save time. And then I'll repeat the process again for the 5G frequency and then we'll look at the results in a spreadsheet at the end. Okay, let's repeat the process at five gigahertz. I ran the test separately, but I put them side by side here for your visual benefit. And it held up pretty well. You know, one of the things that's a disadvantage of 5G is it doesn't have very good performance over range. Uh, but this wasn't bad. The speeds did come down a little bit, but still very high speeds indeed. So that was impressive. So here we are back at the spreadsheet. It has the same layout as the one I showed you before, except now the data is from the 10 meter and two layer drywall test. The numbers have come down a little, and that would be expected. Ironically, the Ubiquiti U6 Lite on the 2.4 GHz frequency actually went up a little. It's worth mentioning that the 2.4 GHz frequency is highly susceptible to noise. Not only noise from other devices, but especially noise from other Wi-Fi antennas. I am producing this video from my home office in a residential area, and while I did shut off my home Wi-Fi for these tests, I cannot control the radios in homes around me. I'm not sure that working in an industrial area would have made it any easier anyway. And finally, I took the results from both the close range bench test and the 10 meter drywall penetration test and put them together into graphical form as bar charts. I kept the horizontal scale equal on both charts so that you could get a visual impression of the overall impact from moving further away from the access points. The 2.4G didn't suffer as much as the 5G did. So obviously distance and construction materials do affect 5G performance. But even with that said, at roughly three to five times the throughput, I would still be happy to have the 5G radio connection if I could get it. All right, so there you go. The Zycel NWA 110AX and the Ubiquiti U6 Lite. I hope you found that helpful or at the very least informative. I'm a little disappointed I couldn't get the U6 Lite to run as fast as I thought it should have. I did spend quite a bit of time troubleshooting that, upgrading the firmware, etc. Keep in mind, you could run into that too. Uh, what we didn't talk about in this video was the why you would be interested in Wi-Fi 6, and it's not just about speed. Maybe I'll do a separate video about that at some point, but in the meantime, you could research the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and the previous versions of Wi-Fi. Now, also what's exciting is I'm going to be doing another video in the near future, same vendors, Zycel and Ubiquity, except we'll be working with the more powerful versions of the access points, the uh, NWA 210AX and the Ubiquity U6LR. So be keeping an eye out for that. I really do appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.